The new plant at Pelindaba was, uh, was necessary because of the age of the plant firstly. We were starting to have issues with, uh, with the quality of the product. It also had, a, had an effect on, on the production cost um, because we have, were running a very old plant. So that necess necessitated the change to a new plant where we needed to look at new technology and a more efficient production of hydrogen. What differentiates this product from other uh, sources of hydrogen production in South Africa is the fact that we use a, utilize an electrolysis process. Uh, this means that we obviously use demineralized water and electricity to generate, uh, to get the hydrogen source. Our product has got a much higher purity because of the fact that we use the electrolysis process. The only impurities we have in our product is actually uh, water vapor and oxygen. So it gives us a higher purity product. We don't have hydrocarbons as impurities. And this is basically the difference between the process we have and the SMR process, which is the other production source of hydrogen. To give you a bit of insight into these Afrox modules, we are currently using cell blocks, which allow electricity to pass through them um, with the use of an electrolyte. This allows water to be split into its hydrogen and oxygen bubbles. Uh, these bubbles then flow all the way up to the separators where the gas rises and the liquid settles. Um, after which the gas then passes through a catalyst which allows the excess oxygen inside the hydrogen stream and the excess hydrogen in the oxygen stream to be recombined and form water vapor. It is then uh, run through dryers which remove this moisture out of the gas thus allowing um, the facility to produce a higher quality of hydrogen and oxygen. To keep the product quality extremely high on a continuous basis, we monitor the production facility continuously every shift. This is monitored by a process controller and at the end of every shift or day, I would sign off on the product spec of the plant. This new plant uses less utilities than the old plant. Utilities in the sense of water, air, and nitrogen are some of the utilities currently being used. One of the major savings for this new plant is the electricity savings. The electricity costs are now one-fifth that of the old plant's costs. In terms of improving efficiencies, here at Afrox, streamlining occurs at every facet of our business. We have looked at other areas on the plant itself where process improvement can take place. We have sufficient capacity to to have significant customer growth uh, and product growth uh, going forward. We also have modular plants. Uh, this means that we can actually add on to the current plant, add cell blocks if demand should increase significantly, we can add to the, to the current cell block that we have. So definitely we can accommodate growth with our current capacity and in future for significant growth, we can also add on to the plant that we have. So the main applications for hydrogen, uh, if you look at industrial hydrogen, it is used for the processing of crude oil into refined fuels like diesel. Uh, that is its main application. It is also used in chemicals manufacturing, in the food processing industry. It's also used for welding and cutting stainless steel. And then if you look at the use for hydrogen um, baseline or high purity hydrogen, that is mainly in laboratory applications. It's used as a carrier or purge gas. For the very high purity hydrogen and oxygen, your main industries is usually the refinery industry, your manufacturing industry, and then also universities where it is where it's extensively used in analytical equipment like uh, uh, gas chromatography and, and FIDs.